to the AMAC. And good Sunday morning to you all. And on today's show, we are going to have a devotional reading from Job 28, 14. For those of you who would like to read along in scripture, that'll give you a moment to get your Bibles out. Okay, so briefly, I just want to tell you all that there has been uh, an absence since we have done um, any shows here at the AMAC. I've had some stomach issues and had a little bit of a sore throat and still do somewhat so y'all bear with me and so hopefully um all of you have had time to um uh flip over to job that is uh 28 14 and so i just did want to briefly let you all know uh why there hasn't been any painting tutorials or uh, devotional readings. So uh, today's devotional begins. It is not in me, Job twenty-eight fourteen. I remember saying one summer, what I really need is a trip to the ocean. So I went to the beach, but the ocean seemed to say, it is not in me. The ocean did not do for me what I thought it would. Then I said, perhaps the mountains will provide the rest I need. I went to the mountains. And when I awoke the first morning, I gazed at the magnificent mountain I had so long to see. But the sight did not satisfy, and the mountain said, It is not in me. What I really needed was a deep, ocean of God's love and the high mountains of his truth within me. His wisdom had depths and heights that neither the ocean nor the mountains could contain and that could not be compared with jewels, gold, or precious stones. Christ is wisdom, and he is our deepest need. Our inner restlessness can only be pacified by the revelation of his eternal friendship and love for us. Margaret, Margaret I hope I pronounced that correctly. And here's a little poem. My heart is there, where on eternal hills my loved one dwells among the lilies and aphidils. Clad in the brightness of the great white throne. Glad in the smile of him who sits there on the glory gilding all his wealth of hair. And making his immortal face more fair. There is my treasure, and my heart is there. 
My heart is there with him who made all earthly life so grand, so fit to live and yet to die his plan. So mild, so great, so gentle, and so brave, so ready to forgive, so strong to save. His fair, pure spirit makes the heavens work fair. And that is where rises my longing prayer. There is my treasure and my heart is there. Favorite poem of the late Charles E. Coleman. And the devotional continues on. You can never expect to keep an eagle in the forest. You might be able to gather a group of the most beautiful birds around him, provide a pinch, a perch, sorry, for him on the tallest pine or enlist other birds to bring him the choicest of delicacies, but he will reject them all. He will spread his proud wings and with his eye on an alpine cliff, soar away to his own ancestral hills of rock where storms and water falls make their natural music. Our soul longs to soar as an eagle and will find rest with nothing short of the rock of ages. Its ancestral hills are the hills of he heaven, halls of heaven, sorry, made with the rock of the attributes of God and the span of its majestic flight is eternity. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Psalm 91 J.R. Macduff, and here is another little poem, and it's very beautiful as well. My home is God himself. Christ brought me there. I placed myself within his mighty arms. He took me up and safe from all alarms. He loves me where no foot but his as trod within the holiest at home with God and had me dwell in him rejoicing there. O holy place, O home, Divinely fair, and we, God's little ones, abiding there. My home is God himself. It was not so a long, long road. I traveled night and day and sought to find within myself some way nothing I did or felt would bring me near. Self-effort failed, and I was filled with fear. And then I found Christ was the only way that I must come to him and in him stay. And God had told me so. And now my home is God. And 
shelter there. God meets the trials of my earthly life. God composes me round from storm and strife. God takes the burden of my daily care. Oh, wondrous place, O oh, home divinely fair. And I, God, little me, and I, God's little one, safe, hidden there, Lord, as I dwell in you and you in me, so make me dead to everything but thee, that as I rest within my home, most fair, my soul may evermore and only see my God in everything and everywhere. My home is God. Author unknown. So I do apologize for some of those pauses in there. I do believe I need some stronger glasses. So everyone, um, happy Sunday to you all. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And as always, and until we meet again, may God bless you and God keep you.